I invite Dr. Tareja sir. Tareja sir for yes sir yes sir. Master. Good evening to everyone. I am thankful to the uh, committee who has given the time uh, to speak few words about the uh, era uh, pre era of sildenafil cyclin. Uh, I, I started my practice in uh, 1980, uh, 1988 as a sexual medicine. Uh, at that time, uh, please share my slides. Yes. At that time, there there is not not sildenafil cyclin is not available, but we are doing the sexual practice at that time, and uh, we were using commonly used uh, drug which are available at that time that is the uh, the common thing is the at that time is psychotherapy Psy we used to give the psychotherapy to the patient and commonly used drugs which was used at that time is yohimbini yohimbini was available at that time in the form of 2 mg tablet and daily we, we are giving 6 mg um, to 18 mg per day in divided doses and after that there was a one drug that is Trazodone. Trazodone was available in 25 to 50 milligram of the dose. Please, uh, 25 to 50 milligram of the dose. We used to give uh, this uh, 50 milligram HS or 25 milligram BD. With that, we are getting with psychotherapy. We are getting so-so uh, erection, but not very good erection like PDE5 inhibitor. Next slide, please. And uh, next. Yeah, drugs used before. Next slide, please. Previously, we were also using neutralization. Yeah, now, now is it in slide wrong? No, no, it has not been. Previously, we are using the uh, neutralization. The detail of the neutralization will be dealt by some of the our uh, colleague, Dr. Goel. He will tell details about the neutralization. After that, the uh, tablet comes. Epomorphine. Epomorphine was given sublingually. That was available in dose of two milligram to four milligram. It is. It has got some of the complication and does not give the very good results uh, as of the PDE5 in inhibitor. And uh, then we we were using the testosterone. Testosterone was used in forty milligram TDI, uh, TDS. It was giving some results, but uh, in that, that the biggest drawback of the testosterone is that we cannot give to the peoples who are, does not have got the children. Testosterone will inhibit the spermatogenesis and it will increase uh, the motility but decrease the count. Uh, is it clear? Sir, uh, please, thoda sa upar jao, sir. Uh, you come to the slide number fifth. Sir, slide number uh, fifth. Slide number fifth, and uh, then comes the uh, vacuum pump and intracavernous injection of vasoactive drug and transurethral devices. And uh, we were using intracavernous injection of vasoactive, uh, vasoactive drug that is injection papaverin, that is injection pep, uh, papaverin, papaverin plus pantolamine, papaverin plus chlorpromazine, prostaglandin 1, trimix, and trimix for the routine purpose. And then we, we were uh, using uh, this papaverine for erectile dysfunctions. And uh, papaverine are not initially uh, in dose of 15 milligram. It is available in the market, uh, 2 ml of the ampule, 1 ml uh, containing 30 milligram of papaverine. Uh, and we used to give 15 milligram initially, and uh, the dose can be reached up to 80 milligram. The mm -hmm. advantage is that it, it is a papaverine is easily available, but inexpensive and uh, less effective. It is not very effective, fail to produce full erection, even in a normal male. If the anxiety level is high, hence the failure of failure to obtain full erection after papaverine does not necessarily indicate the vascular insufficiency. This is the diagnostic is limited. Injection is painful due to the acidic pH. Then comes papaverine plus pantolamine, bimix. Pantolamine is not available routinely, but it is to be imported and the dose is also less. Uh, the, the, advantage, uh, the advantage of papaverine, uh, papaverine and pantolamine, it is very effective than papaverine, requires small volume making self-injection and less painful than papaverine. And disadvantage is that pa pa uh, pantolamine is expensive and has 
to be imported. Mixture is not commercially available, must be prepared by the doctor, higher incidence of priapism as compared to papaverine, alone and PG-1. Risk of fibrosis, though low, more with case of PGE1. Papaverine plus chlorpromazine, that is biomix, is that we have to prepare the biomix uh, by papaverine and chlorpromazine. And uh, that is to be used. And then disadvantage, mixture is not commercially available, but must be prepared by the doctor. Higher incidence of priapism as compared to papaverine alone or PG-1. Then prostaglandin E1, which is a costly drug, it is available in the powder form and that is to be prepared with 25 ml of the distilled water and that is to be preserved in the refrigerator for 90 days that can be used uh, that can be used in dose of 2.5 microgram to 40 milligram initially test dose is recommended 5 milligram advantage it is highly effective very low incidence of priapism fibrosis unlikely during the long term uses disadvantage, it is very expensive, heat labile, must be refrigerator, requires dilution before uses limited self life after dilution. Then triple mix, uh, that is pepperine, pentolamine, PG-1, is still in, uh, I'm using this combination, this uh, combination, advantage of triple mix is co cost addition of 25 microgram of PG-1 considerably increases the cost of the injection, need to be refrigerator, make it inconvenient for the patient to store the injection, uh, for the home self-injection. This is the auto-injector that we used to give to the patients for home self-injection. Uh, now I will let you know how the uh, this injector is lo loaded. We will take the insulin syringe and we will load this uh, injection like this and it is an auto injector. It is pushed like it. there is one button over here. The patient puts this button. This will go into the corpora cavernosa of the patient. They, we will inject the injection at the two o'clock position or 10 o'clock position corpora cavernosa and uh, it, we should not be inject lower side, that is uh, corpora spongiosa. Still, I'm using this injection after coming of PDE5 inhibitor like sildenafil, tandafil, vidanafil, where these injections fail, where these tablets fail, PDE5 inhibitor, I still recommend the home self injection in very, very rare patients. And um, uh, this second line of therapy is penile prosthesis, malleable prosthesis, and inflammable. This will be dealt by other person. And previously, we were also using this vacuum pump. The vacuum pump is also very effective, but it should be, it has got a limited uses. And this is uh, Muse which we were also using. It is coated with PG even, and uh, it is to be used. Uh, we ask the patient to urinate, and in the standing position, the patient will in introduce in his urethra. The drug will go into the corpus spongiosum. From corpus spongiosum, the drug will go into corpora, corpora cavernosa. Then there will be erection. These are the processes. I don't want to go in detail. Uh, I don't want to go in detail. Some other person will go in detail. This is the when the PDE5 inhibitor come in the market, people will thought that is it is the Aladdin the Chirag. It will cure all the ED, but uh, all the ED problem. But this will not happen. But in 2004, Viagra market becomes flaccid. Uh, Viagra market becomes flaccid. The condition of sildenafil citrate becomes like this. If you take the one tablet of sildenafil citrate, you will get six tablets of sildenafil citrate free. Thanks. Thanks very much.